Hello, viewers. Thanks for watching Parties Extra, brought to you by Party Galaxy. We're in the News OK studio in Oklahoma City to talk about the Oklahoma Health Center and their Treasures for Tomorrow Award Banquet, which is coming up April 14th. Well, Terry, the Oklahoma Health Center has 27 member organizations and a campus. So tell us about that. Right, the Oklahoma Health Center uh, was established in 1965 um, and we just we celebrated our anniversary a few years ago but it's a consortium of members of organizational members that uh, at the uh, that are part of the Health Center Foundation and that's the ones that are sponsoring this event but the Health Center has everything from um, the Red Cross to Oklahoma Blood Institute to the Presbyterian uh, Re Health Foundation Research Park. So it's a, a wonderful 300 acre campus. Kind of, we call it um, only in Oklahoma. There's not really anything else like it across the United States. Right. Herschel Lamoran is the president and chief executive officer of the Oklahoma Health Center Foundation, and that's the association that members at the health center. Uh, participate in and Sue Ann is on the board of directors and has been I think for quite some time. And so this big fundraiser, it's a fundraiser, right. and it uh, fundraises for projects that you all do and what are some of those? Right. Uh, it started out um, with the Live Oak Grove, that was the project that was done in 2000 and that was a uh, oak grove trees that were planted and the whole idea is beautification projects to beautify the campus and then what we're working on right now is a public art project that will be at the Peggy and Charles Stevenson Oklahoma Cancer Center and that building is also scheduled to be completed this year and then the art project will be put together built out there as well. So the treasures for tomorrow um, event will benefit that particular yes, one? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We also have Sue Ann here who is on the board for the Oklahoma Health Center and she is also, um, I think she started this particular fundraiser, is that she right? She did. Mm -hmm. She was the originator. She came up with the idea. And, um, and now she's an honoree. Right. So <laughs> well, that's a perfect transition. I know. So tell us a little bit about what's coming up how it started and how you started the banquet and the awards and how it all came about. Um, well, when I went on the board for the um, uh, foundation, Herschel asked me if I would give some thought as to what might be a fundraiser for them. And um, I said, sure, let me kick that around for a while. And it turned out that it took me about two and a half, three years to come up with something. and. I was out in New Mexico and I was reading a magazine, uh, book reviews, uh, and the book review I had just finished was about Roswell and the aliens and UFOs, <laughs> and, but the very next sentence for the very next book um, said, not all of New Mexico's treasures hang on walls. And I thought, well, that's kind of an interesting lead. And I read about it and it turned out that New Mexico but also specifically uh, Santa Fe had a program that they called Living Treasures. And I liked the way that they selected their treasures. They had a little bit different kind of um, tilt. They honored uh, chefs. They honored what they called healers, which may or may not be physicians. Um, they honored uh, any number of, of people, uh, artists, uh, musicians, and I thought, well, I kind of like that. So we started uh, in 2000 with our first class of treasures. And that was the living treasures. What, yes, that, the that, living uh -huh. treasures. Mm -hmm. And so you've kind of gone from... And actually, we've had treasures to remember. We've actually had um, uh, a posthumous award given before. They, uh, we don't do that very often, but we... Uh, just felt like it was the right thing to do. It's next Thursday. It starts at 6.30. Um, the bad news is, is that we are sold out, but we have some fantastic honorees this year, including Sue Ann and her husband Dudley, they? Governor Bill Anatubby with uh -huh. the Chickasaw Nation, and we have uh, Becky and Barry Switzer, yes. and I know that's a po always popular folks to uh, <laughs> learn about, and Jeannie Hoffman-Smith. Thanks, Sue Ann and Terry, 
for telling us about your living treasures, treasures to remember. We salute and congratulate these visionary volunteers and innovative leaders. We also congratulate the co-chairman, David Thompson and Shannon Rich.